back to Entiba Zonkiza who holds up the cross and there's the header and there's the goal the goal that Burundi have been threatening it's Abedi Bigirimara who's not the tallest figure on the field by any means but who rose to head in that cross on the right hand side first half an hour and uh, all credit to Bigirimara who got in front of uh, his marker Noah Sonko Sonberg and just plants that header beyond Modu Jobe he was left with no chance whatsoever Gola Leon Gola looking to well, that's placing the ball very much outside it centimetres there Jordi Leon Gola the back post and it's been turned in again it's 2-0 Dabi Yumva on hand unmarked Burundi are in dreamland here well this is incredible and delight for the Burundi fans in the stadium again but it was not dealt with by the Gambian defence that ball allowed to run all the way across the face of goal and there was Frederic Nsabiyumba invited to turn it into the net short Jallo a decent ball held up to the edge of the six yard box and laid back for the shot which finds its way into the net the Gambia get a goal back the Burundi defenders appeal for an offside it was Omar Arcoli sliding in who they felt might have uh, been an offside position but I think when the shot was hit he was very much onside. We'll see more clearly here. The corner played short by Colley to Abli Jallo. There is the shot, and you can clearly see that Omar Colley is onside when that ball is played. And he is on hand to turn it in from close range. Again, once more waved away by the referee from Benin. The long ball sent forwards, an awkward one which might be picked up here. By Sudi Abdallah, a chance to make it 3 1, which he does. Well, a touch of controversy, maybe. The Gambians felt they had a penalty shout at the other end, and Burundi break away as they'd be threatening to do in this second half. And that should be the goal that gives them a famous victory to begin their World Cup qualifying campaign. The long ball played forward, and it was. Gomez who's just come on as a substitute who made a bit of a meal of dealing with it and Sudi Abdallah is there to take full advantage hadn't really been threatening in this second half chance for the shot to wound quite maybe they can have uh, a rousing campaign at the AFCO time now then here come Burundi again here comes uh, Modu Jobe to save at uh, Hussein Shabani's feet and that will probably be that action is sort of raging from end to end now it's been a pretty remarkable game can be missing a couple of golden chances in the early stages they could have been in front instead they find themselves 2-1 down they may have a penalty here a clear trip by uh, Jordi Leon Gola, who's looked tired for some time, catching Sanyang, and the Gambia will have a chance to pull it back to 3 2 in the final seconds of this game. Definition of a tired tackle by a forward in his own penalty box. Habit of scoring late goals recently. It's a frustrating afternoon out on the right flank. And he finishes it off with a goal, sending Naimania the wrong way. And the Gambia pull it back to 3-2, but that is the final action of the afternoon.